MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Lawrence, it's good to be looking at an Akuma lathe here. This is the Genos model. Can you tell us a little bit about the machine? Yeah, Genos uh, lathes are our entry level machines. So we have a range of four sizes, which is 200, 250, 300, 400. And as I said, they're entry level machines available and, and affordable for anybody. Although if you look into the machine, you'll see that they're still very much a robust built Akuma machine. You can see wrap around slideways, hardened ground ways, huge turret structure with the, the turret uh, behind that is a huge structure. And also you've got all of the Akuma electronics package, the same as all the other machines. And a lot of our customers are quite shocked when they see the price of these machines and realise that how affordable they are for anybody. Now, now, as a sales director, you've touched on a few points there, but what, what do you go to market with when, let, let's say an engineer is looking at a lathe, uh, he's, he's, he's selected three or four manufacturers, why, where would Akuma be in amongst that mix? Where would this machine be and why would it be where it is? I think with all of our models, whether it be the entry level or any range of Akuma machine, we always feel that we've got high quality, we've got high rigidity, we've got an extremely capable electronics package. So you're buying a machine that is designed to last for a lot, many years. We've got many machines 20 years old in the field and to keep delivering high accuracy, high reliability and low maintenance costs. Well, let's drill into that rigidity factor then. So, so how's the machine built? What, what, what's under? What's under the, the skin? All the machines are uh, cast iron, uh, Meonite cast iron beds. There's no granite, there's no fabrications. They're all cast iron, single piece bed. That all the machines on Akuma machines are heavy duty machines. You can see from the construction, all based around heavy duty ribbed castings and cast iron. And what about your spindles? All spindles are Akuma design spindles, um, differing types. A lot of Akuma spindles are direct drive Prex motors. The Genus range is being upgraded to include all Prex motors, direct drive motors, and the range has been expanded now to include M function, Y axis, and W axis sub spindles. And these points that you're making about the machine, what they, they sound very good, but what do they actually give the engineer when the machine's in operation in his machine shop? Fundamentally, reliability. You can put a part on and know consistently the machine is going to be reliable. It won't break down, it'll hold tolerance. When the Genus lathe was introduced, it was really designed to be a very low-tech machine, simple turning machine, and because of the way it's been received by the market and the quality, people now uh, uh, want Y-axis, they want W-axis, they want M-function to expand the same range of machines, but to expand the capability. And is economies of scale a factor here? The more of these machines you're selling, the more affordable they are to the market that we're pitching this to? Um, to a degree. Um, however, in the UK, we don't have so much of the volume market. So Akuma have recognised now and developed two lines of these types of machines. So we have a low spec machine, which is very simple machine tool for high volume, maybe automotive type parts. But we now have the high end range, which is probably more suitable to the UK with M function, with Y axis, with sub spindle for the more complex types of parts that we see in the UK. Okay, so looking at this machine here, this is the L200EM. It does have a Y-axis, it's got driven tools, it's got 66 mil bar capacity, I yeah. see. So this is what you'd class as a sort of run-of-the-mill machine that would go in most machine shops. Yeah, absolutely. For any, any machine shop, we'll have a, a machine requirement of this size. It is a very big envelope in a very small footprint. Again, big focus on the size of machines. People's floor, floor space is becoming more important. And as you say, 66 mil bar capacity, large turning diameter in a very small footprint. Now, what about your control here? Because this is, this is an Akuma control, correct? Yeah, all products from Akuma have Akuma controls. Every machine since 1964 has had an Akuma control on it. The whole electronics package is from Akuma. So it's a single source for all of your needs for maintenance. Uh, that's an advantage to Akuma from a manufacturing perspective. What about to the, to the user? Is there a benefit to them as well? I, I think the benefit is it's a single call for any maintenance issues. Um, 
we're not stuck in the regime of having to contact another supplier for the control to decide whose problem it is. It's one call, we can maintain it. Although the controller is Akuma, the, the programming language is standard ISO word address G-code. So it's very simple to program. You can operate with programs from other controllers in G-code. Very simple conversion. So if I was coming into your lovely facility here in, uh, in Coventry, looking at this machine, I'm sold on the build of it, but I'm, I'm using currently a different control. Can I import those programs into this system? Uh, depending on what programs you're using, obviously, and, and where they've come from, we can very easily convert, particularly if they're FANUC type G code programs, it very easily converts. It's usually minor G code or M codes. Um, obviously, if they're in a different control language, that might be a, another issue. But standard ISO word address is not an issue. And what we try and do for people who are not aware of Akuma is show them some of the benefits of the controller. Now, the, the, the range of these machines is fairly extensive, as you've said already, so there's lots of options. F for you guys now at Akuma, you're going to be looking to uh, potentially the volume market with this machine. What would be your message to engineers that are out there that might think of Akuma at the moment as something maybe out of their reach? Uh, what would you say? I think typically we've seen that a lot of the smaller companies in the UK have a perception that Akuma is, is maybe out of their price range. I, I would suggest maybe have a look, talk to our guys and get some pricing. I think a lot of guys we've seen through here and where we sold these machines are quite shocked how competitive we are on the prices for these machines. So to summarise then, Lawrence, this machine uh, overall, give us three or four words in summary. Uh, affordable to anybody, any customer. High quality, rigid build, Akuma Electronics, NCMT support, uh, on a low-cost machine, I think, is, is fundamentally a very strong package.